Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our 16th uh, Health Matters with uh, Hatsuno Kiseki Facebook Live session. Tonight, um, we're embarking on a journey towards healthier, more balanced life as we delve into the world of uh, holistic wellness with um, Dr. Arut Siva from uh, Meditherapy Singapore. Um, holistic wellness isn't just about fitness, routines, or diet diets. Um, it's about embracing a lifestyle that nurtures your own mind, body, and spirit in harmony. Am I right, Dr. Siva? That's right. Yeah, so we are honored today to have Dr. Siva with us. Uh, and um, he will be sharing um, what is holistic wellness, as well as you know what are the uh, services that he provides in meditherapy um, in Singapore. And uh, if you have any questions... Um, or, or if you have any issues that uh, you would like us to talk about, today is, will be a very, very interactive session for us. So um, just you know, write your questions um, in the comment section. Okay. Um, we hope that uh, this session will equip you with the knowledge on how you can uh, better yourself, um, your, your, your health outcomes, uh, etc. Okay, so um, without further ado, um, Dr. Siva, over Thank to you. you. Thank you, Matt. Uh, is, is my voice loud and clear? Yes. Okay, great. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I would like to start off uh, from what age, uh, which made me start thinking and questioning about everything. Uh, it was actually about when I was eight years old, uh, I got my first money plant. So I thought I wanted to plant it on a, on a sand. I thinking sand being very porous, I thought the money plant can grow much faster. So I planted it and then every day I watered it. But actually I saw it withering instead of growing. That set me into thinking something is wrong here. <clears throat> what I thought was, you see, when I was young, well, the soil being very hard and rough, making a plant grow there will be difficult than growing on a sand. Then suddenly I thought, why not I move it to a soil and see what happens. When I moved the money plant from the sand to a soil, wow, the very next day I saw things growing. Well, that really set me thinking that <clears throat> there is something in nature we need to understand because certain things in nature does in its way and there is no way we can force it into another way. And at the same way, when I started uh, working and uh, when I started learning and when I start growing old, then I realized, okay, there, are, there is something like this plant. When the environment is right, our body heals. Let's say, for example, when there is a small injury, a cut, we don't have to do anything. Basically, our body can heal itself. So when he started to work in one of the oldest hospitals in Singapore, so every day I saw people being pushed on stretchers with lots of tubes, oxygen cylinders. That really set me thinking it. I went back to my olden days. Is it a way for our body to heal itself? Why are we into so much of interventions without facilitating how our, our body can heal itself? So that's where since 1997, I started to figure out what are all the ways uh, we can make a body heal itself? So for that to happen, we need to know the root cause of diseases. So from my experience, now I'm 53 over the last 28 years, the root cause of diseases I categorize are air toxicity, water toxicity, food toxicity, air, water, food, environmental toxicity, mental, emotional mental toxicity you know we got positive thoughts as well as not so good thoughts so even the thoughts affects our health so mental emotional generational you know so we inherit certain disease from our uh, ancestors so ancestors then on the eastern side we have a diseases due to karmic order which i won't cover here then idiopathy we really do not know why we get a disease so there are many, many causes, roughly about 14. Like iatrogenic, it means we acquire diseases in a hospital. No, so comic, that's we acquire diseases in hospital. And even some of the drugs we take also causes diseases. 
So when I go back and think, the first thing to do actually is, is to keep our body clean. It means free of toxicity, free of pollution, and fill it with a lot of nutrition. So I started off with this philosophy. You know, we have a Louis Pasteur theory. It means virus, bacteria are causing the disease. Then there is a contemporary to Louis Pasteur, who's a B champ. His one is, he says, virus, bacteria is nothing. Terrain is everything. So I am more on the terrain theory. It means, like what I said earlier when I was young, the terrain was not conducive. The sand terrain was not conducive for the plant to grow because there is no nutrients for the plant to grow. But when I moved it to soil, the plant got everything from the soil. So it started to grow by itself without even me doing anything. So that is the terrain theory. So when it comes to terrain, uh, what all things we need? So I always say five things. In life, if you apply this five thing in anything, you can be successful. First is be alert, be awake, be aware, question everything and anything, apply common sense. If you follow this five in everything, you will really arrive at a good solution. So this is what I tried. Okay, let me work on my theory. And my theory is the, what is the first thing in our body is, in my opinion, uh, can someone answer what was the, I mean, we got 11 body systems. What is the most important system? Top four. Uh, Any one of you? Anyone? Anyone? Dr. Lim, Dr. Tan. Doctors. Digestive. Uh, that you see, okay, okay. I mean, that's one of my top three, yes. Okay. The first one. Um, cardiovascular. Exactly. Because look at what happens when a heart attack or stroke happens. Game over. Why? When the blood can't reach the cells, it dies instantly. And today's problem, almost every disease you can track back to poor blood flow and poor quality vascular health and poor quality of blood because your blood is formed from what you breathe, what you drink, what you eat and how healthy you are. But today, look at the junk. And I have never seen women in the 30s coming for breast cancer. Now it is getting a very common, uh, common thing now. So in my opinion, the very first thing I focus on is cardiovascular system. It means I want the blood to flow to every single cell in the body. Number two is limb. Limb is our sewage system. So the toxicities in our body must be drained on a daily basis through the limb. Third is digestive. So again, from the oral, our digestive tract starts from the mouth and finishes at the anus. So in this track, nine meter track, there are various functions at various stages. Microbiome in the mouth, stomach needs proper acids, small intestine needs to absorb, the large intestine needs to expel, absorb the water and then expel the waste. So if again, this process don't work, we'll also have a problem. So normally, I when, if one of the questions I normally ask, whoever comes is, do you have constipation? And the answer I get is yes. And only one person put me off. He said he goes toilet once in 14 days or something. I almost fell off the chair. Why? <laughs> if we eat three meals a day, we are supposed to go at least two times. My philosophy is one in, one out. If you're eating the right amount of fiber, if you're chewing well, if you're eating well, you will have more than one bowel movement, which is the norm. But for most people, it doesn't even happen. And the fourth is endocrine glands. Again, endocrine glands like pancreas, it secretes uh, insulin into the bloodstream, various organs, thyroid, adrenal gland, pineal gland, pituitary gland, all the glands secrete the hormones into the circulatory system and it is the circulatory system which carries everything. So in my opinion, circulatory system is number one, which includes the, not just the heart, it is heart plus 100,000 kilometers of our blood vessels. So that is the very first thing I focus on. <clears throat> and now I found a device which really helps me to find out what is the quality of blood. And that's this device from Korea. It's called Oson Medical. They've been doing it in Korea for the last 30 years. 
basically, the system is virtually unknown to the external world because everything there is done in Korean and it's only been focused on Korea. So only when I went over, I realized the potential and now we are I'm bringing it to worldwide. So look at one of the slides. So what are the two blood cells we have? We only got two types. One is a red blood cell, which moves all over our body, nourishes the fixed cells, which can't move, and pulls the toxins out of them and eliminates them. So again, what happens? Look, so blood is part of our circulatory system. So that comes first. And here is where I see a lot of problem because, let me take you quickly to that slide. Okay. So if you look here, the bottom is the artery with the oxygen rich blood. It has to go up to the top level and nourish the cells. Let me look for another slide. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let me look sure. The blood goes, nourishes our cells and then gets uh, removed with the limb, which is the green line for the toxins. And then the venous blood go on top for oxygenation from the lungs. But what happens here is the most important thing. A lot of people, the waste gets stuck inside and it is not moving. It is clogging up and moreover, recycled stale blood is fed constantly to the cells for a long time. So what happens over time is we end up with so-called disease labels, but the real cause is the circulatory system is not functioning. The blood is not moving. The blood is not enriched with oxygen, hydrogen, I mean oxygen, water, and other nutrients. Instead, it is clogged up. And when it is keep on feeding it, our body shows signs of disease. Dr. Siva, I'm sorry. Um, would you like to expand your presentation? Because uh, it, it's kind of small. Um, How about now? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. You uh, can you put it in presentation mode? Okay, let me try. Okay, now. Yes, excellent. Okay, great. So this is what I mentioned. So what we are doing is we have a, something called sinusoid capillary. The sinusoid capillary by default have holes. So when we use a certain amount of pressure, it actually pulls all the uh, nutrients up to the skin. And then the most important thing is here, it drains into the limb. This is a very special cup and not the normal cupping what people see. Normal cupping, what it does is it just sucks everything and then it holds it in place instead of actually draining it into the limb. Whereas this machine, Ozone Medical, it got patented cups. There are many cups which we can use from healing the eye to the whole body. It really helps to drain the toxins into the limb and at the same time circulate the blood. So that's why their cups are very unique and patented. If you can see, they got some special designs inside, which has been perfected over the last 30 years. So quickly, I wanted to show you something, including obesity is all because the limb is not functioning. And this is how a microcirculation, capillary circulation should look like, uh, which is on the right side. But for most people, it is like on the left side. So after doing this therapy, we can see that the client goes back to a very healthy state. And let's look at some examples. So see, this is a sign of a very healthy person. The moment I we put a cup, if you see a red mark, it's fantastic. But a lot of people, actually, it is like this, very dark. That is a clear sign that things are being choked there. Uh, uh, so when we do the cupping and if there is an itchiness, actually that's the place where a lot of virus bacteria are all contaminated. And this is the most deadly thing. It means if nothing comes out, everything is basically clogged in the system and it is waiting for a disaster to happen. So look, psoriasis. Look how blood flow, once correcting the blood flow itself, psoriasis get healed. All these are incurable in Western medicine. Okay, oh, let me show you something. See, this is something. This person got a stiff neck. Right after one therapy, 
before doing the therapies, head movement was like this. That's about it. But right after the therapy, in one week, can you see? See, the beauty is all this is part of self healing. Nothing, no manipulation, no cracking, no adjustment was done. All we did is to pull blood to every part of the body, relieve the stress on the spine and allow the body to self-correct. You look when the real nourished blood goes everywhere, what happens? Look at this lady. No Western medicine can treat this kind of an issue without any surgery. But look what happens right after this treatment. She can just walk normal. <laughs> and this is scoliosis. Let me quickly go down to a Parkinson's case. Again, uh, when a head is locked like that, it's a problem. So like, for example, people who have stroke. Uh, I just did someone for stroke. I have the video. I'm not sure if I can show it. You can see he said right after it, he can walk better. Because and then, you know, for people with stroke, the hand, arm, the neck is all locked in a certain position. It will further affect the blood flow, further affect the connection from the brain to the various organs of the body. This is John Day's. Okay. Look at this lady. She's 80 plus. Parkinson's. And she is the mother of China CCTV boss. Look right after therapy, what happens? Immediately. After one hour. This is the power of our body self-healing when we actually do things right. Our body can heal itself automatically from many of the issues. And this is the most important slide which is not working for many people. It means the, the cells are not getting nourished with real oxygen-rich blood and the thing, the waste is not drained into the limb. So what I do is I, I use a lot of uh, technologies because I like to monitor the progress and how things are happening. So as I said earlier, my very first focus is cardiovascular system. Uh, and again, currently what I realized is most doctors just look at the heart and completely ignore the 100,000 kilometers of blood vessels. Whereas I mainly focus on that because that is what is nourishing the cells at the microcapillary level. So I use a cardiovascular risk assessment tool in this. We actually check the arterial health. It means when the heart beats, what time the, uh, the blood goes to the arms and then what time it goes to the legs gives us the condition of the traffic of blood flow within the blood vessels. If it is flexible, if it is without blockage, based on the age, there is a standard calculation. If things doesn't happen like that, we know there is some issue with it. So normally, this is the first test I do for people to find out how is the arterial health. And especially after COVID, I see a lot of people, the arterial health is not that good. And then they will go on to doing a lot of therapies. So example, even people with diabetic ulcer like this, we can heal. Why? Again, sending blood flow with the right nutrients to that part and the body can heal itself. So I use plenty of technologies, not one, two. So if you see here, like, like there are over 16 and now I added a few more. I got really about 20 different technologies uh, which I use on clients. And basically all these technologies is not to heal or treat, but to restore vitality at the cell level reading allowing the body to regenerate and rejuvenate itself from every cell that's why these treatments are applicable to both healthy and not so healthy people anybody can use whoever wants to be well as i said earlier i didn't vaccinate because i wanted to test my own theory until now i used my technology and took the best quality nutrient supplements 
until now I'm COVID free. So that's what it means that if we keep our body clean, we don't have to worry about diseases. As per Louis Pasteur's thing, yes, we need to fight the virus and things like that. But as per BCHAM, just keep your body healthy and your body can heal by itself. It can defend itself and I proved it right. So one of the devices I use is uh, NanoV, which is actually per day, our body DNA gets damaged roughly about 700,000 times. So disease is accumulation of these things over time, which we don't correct it on a daily basis. One of the thing is sleep is the most important factor. But for now, a lot of people have very expensive mattress, but they don't have a good sleep. Whereas what NanoV produces, it's, it agitates the water. From the water vapor, it modulates it with a special signal and it comes out to the tube. And when a person inhales the, the vapor, our DNA, what happens within the DNA is something called protein folding. When the proteins inside the DNA fold properly, the DNA can do its proper function. So all my clients use this. So basically, if you look at it in summary, it's, it's anti-aging for autoimmune, cancer, cell repair, cell vitality, chronic fatigue, pain, joint issues, diabetic, detoxification, enhanced immunity, energy issues, fibromyalgia, inflammatory condition, all those things. All these are disease labels. But when you work at the DNA level, the body will heal itself and more diseases can be eradicated. So this is much more details. And the other thing I use is the hydrogen. Here I need to explain a bit more because uh, hydrogen is available. I mean, it's one of the most abundant thing in the universe itself. So the water we drink is all nothing but oxygen and hydrogen. But what I do is I split oxygen and hydrogen in a machine and provide 2000 cc per minute. For a therapeutic range, anything about 1250 is the most ideal. Most smaller machines are only about 300. And when you have the 300, you need to inhale for seven hours or many hours to get the benefits. But if you have a higher concentration machine, it can within an hour, people can see a lot of health changes. Uh, here is where, I mean, just read uh, from the slide. I think you all can read. Is it clear? What are all the benefits it can provide? So there is a story behind it. In 2015, uh, I had a friend who walked into my office and said she got a special a bracelet. Uh, if I wear that bracelet for three months, it will enhance the blood flow. But I know hydrogen makes it even faster. Then I told her, hey, I got a new hydrogen machine. Why not we test what's happening to it when people inhale it? And at the same time, I had my doctor friend with me. She said, okay, let me be the person to you. You can use me to test. Right. So we set up everything. We set up the microcapillary measurement, everything before and after use. The moment I switch on the machine, in seven seconds, we saw the blood starts to move. And why? Because it energizes the blood. It makes the blood viscosity thinner so that it can flow easily. Now, going back to stroke, what happens? When the blood flow to the heart is obstructed, it is heart attack. When the blood flow to the brain is obstructed, it is stroke. So there are a lot of fine vessels in the brain where if there is a block, things can't flow. But with this, when people inhale this, it helps the blood flow. And it was tested. It takes only less than six seconds to do it. So all my clients go through this. Uh, this is some of the benefits of inhaling hydrogen gas. And sometimes people drink hydrogen water and there are tablets which you can mix with water and take. But to me, I still feel uh, breathing inhalation is the best way. In 16 seconds, it gets into every cell. It, with inhalation, it goes to the lung, from the lung into the heart, and the heart carries the oxygen-rich blood to every part of the body. And most hydrogen machine is a mixture of hydrogen and oxygen. So in a way, you provide oxygen to nourish the cells and hydrogen for anti-inflammatory. And this is the other machine I use. It comes from Germany. So when I use this machine, I look at the terrain. 
So there is a graph. This machine produces a graph throughout the treatment, depending on the person's health. I see whether the body is in a degenerative state or in a inflammatory state. And the machine automatically adjusts itself from if it is an inflammation, it will move up against inflammation. And if it is degeneration, it will move away from degeneration. So this is automatically done. So my clients do this as well as part of our holistic therapies. So when they come, they usually spend about one and a half hours to two hours. And this is the graph I explained. So the first four minutes on the left side is the assessment phase and the following after the horizontal white line is the treatment phase. So for a whole body in the optical um, uh, metabolic state, all the four lines should be at the center as you see at the right bottom. So, so basically I use this to treat pain, edema, regeneration, muscle stimulation, mus muscle toning, sports injuries, Parkinson's, etc. And this is a PMF. Uh, I got few varieties of PMF. If you look at the picture on the left, I am doing like one, two, three, four, five treatments at the same time. And that's what we do. In one of the rooms, we combine seven treatments at the same time. And mostly, most of the time, they will do anything about two or three at the same time. But in our therapy room, our specialty room is like seven treatments at the same time, which complements each other. So basically what PEMF does is uh, it pulses at a certain field, magnetic field, which actually helps to transport oxygen and nutrition into the cell and expel water, uh, toxins and carbon dioxide out of the cell. So every bed I have a PEMF mat when people lie on it to get the treatment. So basically, higher the voltage is better. So like in case with people with cancer, they are like plus 20 volts. Uh, but we need to have like minus 50 to minus 70 is one of the best voltage a cell can have, which is highly alkaline and our body can heal itself naturally. This is on the med again from Germany. I got like 172 programs I can run uh, using this, uh, this machine. And this is from Russia. So this produces a unique not magnetic field. And then if you can see, we can cover a person on it. But here at my place, I don't cover because there are so much of things we do. I put it on the bed and they sleep on it. So they usually lie on it for an hour. So this is how it works. And basically, I use another machine from Japan. This actually produces electrons, now, which is like, you know, when we are next to a waterfall, we got a lot of negative ions. So this machine produces a lot of negative ions. I even have one at home. So when I sleep, I for, for about 15 minutes, I put two pads on my head and the other on my feet and allow circulation and then uh, reduction of, uh, it will also is an antioxidant therapy. So it will help me to reduce the oxidative stress. So every day I repair myself before I go to bed. So again, this is part of our cell regeneration therapies. And we use light. Now, of course, the whole world started off with light. If there is no light, we all will enter ice age. So this actually has the four, seven different wavelengths. I got multiple panels and the patient will stand in the middle. So front facing one light and the other one facing another wavelength. And then after five minutes, they change. So this helps in energy level, activating blood flow, circulation, forming new blood vessels, Reducing of inflammation, pain, excellent for anything to do with the muscle. I think Dr. Lim tried everything though. Dr. Lim, why don't you say something? <laughs> I'm so jealous. So, <laughs> so this is the one that actually I, I was standing in the room like for a yes. couple of minutes. This is the one, right? That's right. That's right. Oh yeah. I think this is very fantastic. It's, you know, mm -hmm. like you, you have all the sweats actually come out. Yes. Then, uh, your your body start to feel like uh, there's a blood flow. Yes. You know, that, uh, I can feel like you know from a, from a TCM point of view, it's like something like a chi, the chi actually yes. moves. Yeah. And it all happens in five minutes itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. So this is vibrational therapy because today's major problem is sitting disease. When we sit, actually, only three percent of the blood flows to the feet. 
when we stand about 20% to 25%, but when we do exercise, running, jogging, it's about 80% of blood flows to the legs. A lot of people, especially with diabetic, they have poor legs because the circulation is not there. The blood sugar eats up the blood vessels and it gets closed up and it can't flow and the feet gets darkened and they amputated. But with this vibration therapy, what we do is it's like lifting a person and then dropping you to gravity. But it does it at a uh, high speed. So it starts to hit the body and they can feel the movement of energy and flow in the whole body. In about 15 minutes, it's like walking 10,000 steps. And then I got various impact machines. And the bed below is a special bed. It's a six degree inclined bed, which is actually to tone up the visceral organs and to send more blood to lungs, to heart, kidney, spleen, liver, and etc. and the brain. Excellent for people with stroke as well and all sorts of cardiovascular issues. So you look, uh, it increases blood flow to the brain by 180% to muscle 160%, heart 90, liver 86, stomach 70%, kidney 53 and spleen 50%. So it all happens in 30 minutes. So this is the basic benefits of this therapy. So, of course, we use SONA, SONA for weight loss, pain relief, detoxification. Uh, for some people, when I give a white towel after they use SONA and come out and, if, and I look at the towel, it's so black. Because our body, the moment it finds that something is not native to the body, it will catch it from the bloodstream and put it into the fat layer so that it doesn't move. So, when we use SONA, it purges things to the skin, through the pores, and we are able to eliminate it. So, Dr. Siva, yes. uh, it will also eliminate the fats as well? Yes, yes, definitely. Fat loss will also burn, it will burn up the fat as well. Dr. Tan, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Go, sorry, go ahead, uh, Dr. Siva. So, this is the Pioneers Fitness uh, for the senior people. So basically, the isokinetic uh, strength training, it uses their own uh, energy to strengthen them. Normally, in a traditional gym, you set some value and you go against it. But whereas this isokinetic, it depends on the strength being applied and then it produces counter effect instantly using electric motor. That's why this is very unique and special. So we use various tools to address various parts of the body. And basically, that's about it. I didn't add in a lot more because I have so much more new technologies. Every month, my toy collection keeps adding up. and I have no time to update the slide because morning to evening, very busy working. Dr. Siva, where is the Kiseki slide? Oh, well, this is all the, all the technology I use. The oral consumption, there's a lot to cover. <laughs> Uh, just pulling a leg, just pulling a leg. Yeah, continue, please. Sorry. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, so most of the things I use is all listed here. And I do a special therapy from Japan to tone up the legs of the people uh, from the waist all the way to the feet because one of the things happened to all people is the fall. So and because why they don't have strength on the legs and they can't feel it. So I yes. use one device from Japan, uh, which is used in 800 hospitals in Japan. From the waist below all the way to the foot, we turn up all the muscles. And then I have another one to work on nerve damage again from Japan. And then I have another sound healing machine from Japan. I use sound waves to break the fat. And then I use a special vacuum suction to drain it through the limb. So it's quite a number to cover. <laughs> And I, I didn't need to really update my slides because all my toy collection happened in the last three months and there are so much of toys. Yeah. So basically all this will help in the self-regulation, self-adaptation, self-healing of the body from all the systems, all the 11 systems, circulatory, cardiovascular, skeletal, muscular, endocrine, everything. So, any questions, please? Oh, excellent. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Siva, for the very 
enlightening um, you know, uh, session and introduction to uh, medi therapy. Um, well, let me just start uh, the questions, um, if you don't mind. Um, how often uh, can someone do the uh, Osan cupping treatment? Oh, that's once a week only. Once a week? Once a week, yes. Good enough. Okay, okay. And it's not normal cupping, it is stretch cupping. So yeah. what we do is we pull out the skin and stretch it so that through the osmotic, I mean, because arterial pressure being high, but through the pressure itself, the thing comes out. Okay. It comes out and then it gets drained into the limb. Right, right. So, um, you know, I, I initially I had I had a question about, um, you know, what do you think about negative ion therapies, and you know, is it the same or does it have uh, the same effect as uh, doing grounding? As oh yes, it's, it's basically electrons. Yeah. So the grounding will also give you a specific the same electrons and all these negative ions is also electron based. So in fact, grounding is very, very, very important for everyone. We all have the common sense that you know our foundation is deep rooted in the soil. Every building has a deep foundation. Likewise, our body needs a proper foundation and that is connecting to the earth with our bare, uh, bare feet. You know, every house we got a ground, else all our appliances will fail. We have this scientific knowledge, but we have, don't have the common sense to realize that we too need to ground ourselves and discharge the static electricity and get the right electrons from the mother earth into our body free of cost. Yes, uh, I, I, I totally agree with you. Um, all, you know, spend time, you know, weekends. Um, at waterfalls and exactly. in, in nature, basically. Nature, exactly. Nature that, that heals. To rejuvenate you know, your, your mind, body and soul, actually. Right. Okay. Um, and the other thing is that, you know, when a person comes in to meditherapy uh, in your clinic, um, can they spend the whole day? Because, you know, with 20-odd uh, uh devices and toys that you have right half an hour each we are talking about 10 hours i don't know because like seven <laughs> are combined into one so okay. are very efficient so in right. two hours they can complete like 14 different therapies okay excellent excellent okay two hours but of course i got clients uh, who come in the morning who come in the evening and they see the fastest results and like today, we had a client, uh, he came from Australia for sarcoma because doctor said they need to amputate the leg and also something wrong with the lungs. He came daily for about two months and uh, like he went for a scan last week and the results came today. They said no need to amputate. The legs are very good and strong and the lungs are clear. Wow, excellent. Yeah, the body heals itself. So uh, for those who are listening, um, we are... We would like to open a clinic here in uh, Malaysia, like what Dr. Siva is doing. We are raising money now. So <laughs> yeah, please, please do let us know. <laughs> yeah, full funds and trust me. Technologies here in Malaysia. Yeah. Um, we came with nothing. We don't go back. We go back nothing. But when we are here, we need a good and a healthy body. So we need to invest time, money and efforts in prevention. It doesn't come for free. We need to that's what I did for the last 27 years. And it proved itself during COVID that I don't even have to worry. I was kissing people with COVID to see whether they can pass on to me, still can't. So what more tests can I do? <laughs> That's the max I can do. Okay, so uh, we have a question from our top uh, viewer, uh, Mr. K CEO. Um, his question is, are the costs very exorbitant for therapy? Um, example, uh, stroke patient assessment? Uh, not really. For assessments, it's all cheap. So what I do is I evaluate a person. Then from there, I will ask them to try certain things for some time. Then later I say, okay, buy these small tools and use it intensively at home and then just come here once a week or something like that, depending on the needs. Because some of my clients are wheelchair bound. You know, for them to come in wheelchair, they have to call the Handicap Welfare Association, and then they send an ambulance. It's one way is eighty dollars, two way is already one sixty dollars. So I said, you see, we all invest in a lot of things, luxuries. 
but we don't, we fail to invest in health. That's where all the problem starts. That then our body is still kind, you know, it's, it starts with illness, sickness, disease, then it becomes disability, then it becomes pain, misery, and ultimate punishment is death. It's all because we never invested time, money, and efforts in disease prevention at the earliest. Okay. Um, like you, you mentioned that, that the, you know, they come for assessment and all that, do some treatments, therapy. Um, you know, what are the you know, tools or, or, or toys that you would uh, recommend? Well, I use a bioimpedance analyzer to check the whole body, extracellular water, intracellular water, free fat mass. There are about 50, 70, 45 over parameters to check with that machine. And then I use the arterial health risk profile to check the condition of the arteries. And then I use a heart rate variability to check their stress level. And then some more new toys are coming basically uh, to check the quality of blood and everything. So my toy collection will keep growing day by day. Okay. Yeah. So um, you, you did mention that you know um, the patient will have to buy certain devices. Mm -hmm. To bring home for them to use right, right? Uh, yeah. like what what are what are the devices are they yeah. big big machines or no, no, some are small some are big uh but they're not expensive like my clinical grade machines it's like uh 70 000, 80 000, but these are like thousand five onwards thousand four onwards it's pretty cheap and i do also oh, okay i took it to my new place so i do have devices around me so even when i'm talking to you i'm healing myself with the machine under my feet then I use this thermography check to check for cold spots in the body. So, so I got many, many tools, which, uh, but that's why I need to sit with the patient, understand their needs, lifestyle, and then I recommend what is good for the, for them and for the family to stay healthy. Excellent. So, uh, Mr. Yo, um, you know, if you have friends or, or anyone that you know that would like to visit, uh, Dr. Siva's uh, clinic. Um, you know, I, we have the we will we will publish the phone numbers uh, in our uh, comment section for you guys to to make an appointment. Thank you. Yeah. So uh, check, especially after you know COVID, now it is proven that after COVID or getting vaccines, uh, it causes uh, heart issues and blood circulation issues. There are so many paper, published papers now, really. So I always tell people now, focus on your cardiovascular health until 2030. That's my main message. Watch your diet, stress levels, sleep, etc. Until 2030? Until 2030. <clears throat> Why until 2030? Uh, well, in my own opinion, uh, People who can cross 2030, it means they have done good, some right things and good things. If they don't cross, it's, they didn't do the fundamentals. Because every single day we see messages of young people dying, like suddenly today we saw yesterday. Every single day, which doesn't happen in the past. 20, 30, 40, 50 is not the age to die. <clears throat> okay. 85 and above acceptable. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Um, questions uh, from the panel? Um, I have one question, uh, Dr. Siva. Sure. Regarding the oxen, the oxen cupping. Yes. So basically, which part of the body that you do the cupping? Oh, we start from the head all the way to the feet. So, um, how should I put it now? So it is like a device where you actually put it on the the surface of the skin, then you yes. just pump take like it that. Out. Take it out in six seconds. Take it out in six seconds, then go to the second second, second place. spot. Yeah. So from the color appearing at various spots, we know what's happening at that spot, whether the circulation is good or impaired circulation. I see. Interesting. Yeah. yeah, like for example, uh, if there is a block, I will show you here. Let me let me take a picture. Can you see the line? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the blockage. Whereas his other photos, uh, he got an excellent good circulation. 
but uh, but there are some blocks, but which is okay because he's overall very healthy for 71. The moment uh, we put the cup and if the flow is good, if the color is bright red, we are happy. But for some people, we are still working there only in the 40s. Nothing is coming out in spite of week after week. It will take a long time. And I know the diet and lifestyle of such people, it's, it's not really good. Um, okay. Yeah, that's why so, many are dying young nowadays. So how frequent will it be for the cupping? Once a week, good enough. Once a week. Yeah. Okay. Actually, it's a home system. People buy and treat. My, I, I treat myself every week. Yeah, I just do my own cupping every week, which is very fun and very nice. My ring, my neck movement and everything is much better. Okay. You're right. Um, Dr. Tan, any questions? Okay. Um, take a and all three of you needs to come and try. Yes, yes. Especially the part where you can suck the fat out. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Lee, why are you laughing? We, we don't suck it out. We mobilize it and allow the limb to flush it out. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, we have uh, another question from uh, Ms. Teo, um, Teo Chen Ju. Mm -hmm. um, so, Dr. Siva, when is a good time and day to visit your clinic? Oh, any day, you just uh, fix an appointment because normally per day, I only see two people because uh, most times it ends up two hours per person. So, four hours is already a long, then I need to follow up with the other clients coming. So, book in advance and then I will dedicate two full hours to be with the person. Um, I, I I have um, you know put down your address the Kim Cat uh, fifty three Kim Cat Road is That's that right? It. Yeah, and then my mobile number nine seven five five three one five five. Yeah, I've um, I've I've listed uh, all the numbers as well. Oh, thank you for for the benefit of uh, our viewers. Right. So, so like um, you know, I I, I noticed today. Um, uh -huh. Uh, there is an increasing amount of of all this um, like genetics lab, um, you know, genomics and all mm -hmm. that. What 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 do you think about um, clinics, uh, such clinics? Oh, well, it's it's like mushrooms now. Yeah. Uh, some of the people's data they give you a thick book to impress you, but you really can't understand anything from it. <laughs> so it'll be even more confused. So, I mean, I do work with some labs, so where the report makes some sense, what are all the things to watch out for in life. There, but there are labs, new labs coming, there are current labs, there is it's going to be a very hot field in future. Uh, but only uh, after validating the reports with the person's health for a while, then we know how accurate it is. Okay. Thank you. So um, if there isn't any more questions, I guess uh, we will end our session today. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Siva, uh, for you know, introducing us to, to Meditherapy. Uh, we, okay, um, we do have a question. Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, do you have any opinion on uh, bioresonance? Uh, well, I really don't do bioresonance because... Uh, I mainly focus on systemic therapies. It means every single therapy I do works from head to toe. Uh, Bioresonance is more targeted. They will send in a frequency. They will tune in. They will find which one is out of sync. And then they will send an inverted wave into the body to correct it. Uh, I don't use it because I prefer the body to heal itself. And I rather facilitate it systemically from head to toe and working on the all 11 body systems at the same time. So that's my approach because I follow BCHAMP's theory and which is working very well. And then there are many bioresonance machines. So it depends on the skill of the person and whether the machine is properly calibrated. Uh, and then even your hydration, the way you hold, a lot of things matters actually. So I rather go for systemic, uh, which is much better. I'm not saying it it's bad, but it works. 
so it is okay. But uh, to me, I said, I'm not into targeted. I am into systemic therapies. So uh, basically, bioresonance is more targeted. Targeted, yeah. Yeah, because you go by certain things programmed in it. Yeah, mine is systemic. Work whole body. Activate the whole body. Right. Um, you, 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 you did mention um, you, know, you have had like you know, uh, patients coming in who have had stroke. Yeah. Um, is it if if let's say a person has had stroke for maybe four or five years, is it too late or you know? Okay, you see, uh, for people who had stroke over time, it depends on how much is it. Like some people after stroke, they go back to normal, everything. But for some people, the body parts, some of them is not working. Like the hand is like this. The legs, they can't walk properly. The neck is stuck. Yes. Yeah, so because of that, there will be a lot of uh, issues downstream. So when they start aging, the body degenerates much faster. And in fact, people who had stroke, they will also have memory problems over time. So it is best we release everything, allow the blood to flow, nourish every cells and allow the body to be become young again. Okay. So it depends on the damage done and how many years ago and what all efforts they have been consistently taking. Like I know someone who really spent like half a million set up his own personal things at home and exercised for four to six hours daily. And his stroke is so rare that only one in a million can survive. And he really put in a lot of efforts. So when I went to his home many years ago, the amount of supplements he took was like one page here, not even a gap. At least about 50 or 100 supplements he was taking. And everything proved worthwhile. He can speak now, his cognition is clear, except uh, the body movement. So I'm just starting to work on him for the last three weeks. Okay. And his stroke is 12 years ago. Right. But straight away, he's the one who said today he can feel the difference right after the session. He can walk better. And his motive is he don't want a walking stick. He want to walk without a walking stick. Right. Or a pretty lady next to him. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Having a walking stick is terrible, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so um, if... Is there anything else that you would like to share, Dr. Siva? Because I find I find this session has been very, very um, you know insightful and and it, it helps and opens like you know for us as well um, as as um, as much as we 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 read a lot we you know we 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 research a lot but. Um, a lot of times, you know, we do miss out a lot of things. And today, you know, you have provided us with a lot of uh, uh, knowledge yeah, the, the and proof ideas. Of the no. thing is in its eating, have to try. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That is the key, actually. Trust me. Okay, okay. So uh, we, we, we will try to make a trip, uh, hopefully soon. Yep, better. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Mean, you are just one hour away by flight. Come on, please. I got clients flying in from Australia, Middle East, and Europe, and you're only one hour away. <laughs> you can even come in the morning and go back home in the evening. <laughs> so what's your excuse? <laughs> Money. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, let's print it. <laughs> okay, okay. So um, if we don't have any more questions, I, I, I ran out of questions. Um, you guys, do you all have any questions? Uh, if not, then um, you know our next session would be uh, on the thirty first of August. Uh, Miss Tio did uh, ask me to bring her parents along as well to sure. Singapore. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I guess she'll be providing me with the uh, plane ticket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, so in the next session, um, uh, we would like to talk about water. It's a very important topic. Yeah. I think, um, you know, um, what are the difference in terms of all the different types of water uh, in the market? We have oxygen water, hydrogen water, alkaline like, water, spring water, 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 water,
Oh, new water. New, oh, new water is a pee shit and a poop water. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, 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 you know, personally, I'm, I'm very passionate about water and, and, um, you know, in the raw form. But uh, I guess uh, Dr. Tan can, um, you know, enlighten us about uh, what are the different types of water. Um, also, our uh, Dr. Lim, the chemist, he can, um, you know, also talk to us about, uh, yeah, enlighten us about, about water, right? Okay, excellent. Yeah. So uh, mark your calendars. Uh, we'll be talking about water on 30th of August. So again, if you, the audience, have uh, topics that you will feel passionate about and you would like us to talk about it, do let us know on the comment section. Um, also, for those of you who have not liked, subscribed our Facebook or Instagram or our YouTube page, please do so. It will help us a lot. Um, and, you know, if you have Info, uh, questions uh, not only about health about kiseki about anything else do do let us know um, we will try our best uh, to uh, reply to you in the comment section otherwise you can um, also uh, contact us through our kiseki care line which is um, 011 okay so thank you so much again dr siva for your time for your presentation Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, Dr. Lim, Dr. Tan, and Tiffany. So I'll see you guys uh, on our next session on 30th of August, which we'll be talking about water.